Zombies! Hey guys, what's up? up? Today we're in Evan City, Pennsylvania. And we are at the cemetery. From Night of the Living Dead, the ah. original movie. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it, you're being ignorant. They're coming to get you. Stop it, you're acting like a child. Epic, look what's right behind me right there. That tombstone is featured in the scene, We're Coming to Get ah. You, Barbara. <laughs> we just acted that out for you guys. Did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> so here is that grave marker, a better shot of that grave marker. And in that scene, they're actually putting uh, flowers on this guy. And he, he jokes about, where'd the ones from last year go? I bet we just bought them again. And then that whole scene kind of takes place right in here. And then they walk back and then over here. Where can we find it? Like, right there. Right here. This is approximately the area the zombie kind of walks down and frightens them. So yeah, this is it. This looks almost the same. The trees have changed a little bit. Some trees are missing, but it, it's pretty much the same. It's cool to see it in person. We love looking at cemeteries. Yes, yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next stop here in Evans City, Pennsylvania is the Living Dead Museum and Gift Shop. It's just down the road. I'm excited. Budget, what budget? Oh my God, you'll see. Zombies! Zombies! Here are all the titles of the living dead. Monster Flick, Night of the Flesh Eaters, Night of Anubis. And they finally, finally settled on Night of the Living Dead. Glad they did. So here's a big timeline. It starts in 1968. And if you follow it down it goes throughout all the years talking about different high points in zombie pop culture and it ends zombie. up down there with in 2018 in 1984 zombie zombie the video game came out it's the world's first zombie based video game look at this Uh-oh, Matt's favorite here, The Walking Dead comic. Yeah, Robert Kirkman has talked about Romero's influence on him and, you know, The Walking Dead. And The Walking Dead comic book came out in 2003, well before the TV show that we all know today. Shaun of the Dead It's pretty much one of my favorite zombie films. But I've never heard of the term Zom rom -com, a zombie romantic comedy. Twenty-eight days later is probably my second favorite zombie movie. But it's debated: are they zombies? I mean, technically they are. I mean, it's not the traditional zombie. You know, it's because a chemical or something affects them. But they definitely come back from the dead, and they have superhuman like abilities almost. Like they're quick, and it's more of like a rage, a rage disease. We have the Mall of Fame, like to maul someone, uh, but that's really cool. Basically, it's similar to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but they basically take bloody handprints. Look at this. And it's all the stars and producers of George A. Romero's dead films. Pretty epic. Crazy. Talk about a one-of-a-kind collectible here. Check this one out. This guy, he's wearing a Monroeville Mall security guard's outfit. Is that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. And then down here, it looks like a, a scale model of, of the Monroeville Mall. I'm excited to see it in person. These are original production props from the 1978 Dawn of the Dead. We have a leg and a hand. What's really cool about these is back in here, you can see where the fake blood would come out and stuff. That's so cool. 
Here are some black and white ads from Dawn of the Dead. And it's got their sizes and stuff below them. It's pretty cool to see them all together like that. I'm a graphic designer nerd now. Walking past this barrel, you might think there's nothing in it, but coming up to it, look, there's a head in there. Zombie head. The head in this case right here is original production prop. Screen you zombie extra mass for Day of the Dead. Here's one of the zombies from Day of the Dead. That's probably my favorite zombie because a few of the scenes in the movie, they, they get him listening to music and like his reaction, I don't know, like I can't remember exactly if they're trying to train him or trying to cure him, but they, they put the headphones on him and it's just really memorable to me and some of his facial reactions and they, and they nailed one really good on this, uh, what would you call that guy? A mannequin. A mannequin. <laughs> Look at it. It's classic. Oh my god, dude. That museum was pretty cool. Yeah, the museum <laughs> and gift shop were super cool. I, going into it, I thought they would have some props and stuff, which they did. But they have a, so much other really cool stuff, so many other cool items. Like the handprint wall with all the signatures. That was super cool. Super cool. The timeline, seeing the timeline, just seeing that timeline like in real life and just walking across it and just seeing like when stuff hit, the different different things came out. That was pretty epic too. One thing I did see walking right in uh, is, is it was a little note that said they use Bosco chocolate syrup as blood in Night of the Living Dead because it was black and white. So they <laughs> so it was just to, to just just colors. to save like budget, you know, like on it. That's cool. And then another cool thing that I really liked was there was an advertisement that the production company took out saying you were insured up to fifty thousand dollars if Night of the Living Dead scared you to death, <laughs> which that's a marketing technique that they couldn't get away with today because someone would fake their own death or something or who knows man <laughs> people are weird yeah but the gift shop was super cool too they amazing. have a bunch of shirts hoodies oh man so jackets, many shirts so many it's, crazy it's things amazing. they also had um evil dead memorabilia i was shocked to see that in there because that's kind of i mean kind of that's a zombie movie i guess well you know. i am the proud owner of part of the evil dead 2 cabin awesome <laughs> that is so cool that is awesome I, it was only 20 bucks for that it's yeah certified she, the lady uh who was working there told us you know, about how they got it and stuff and i'm like that's so cool you know i mean that's awesome man this place is so cool definitely check it out if you're ever rolling through evans city pennsylvania it's well worth the stop the museum was only five bucks to, to, to go in this yeah. used to be in the Monroeville Mall. So, if you have gone to the Monroeville Mall before, this is no longer there. No, they moved it over here, which is cooler because we just went to the cemetery and this is right down the road. We're going to the mall. We're going to be zombies in the mall. <laughs> I can't wait to see Who it. Who goes to the mall anymore? I know. No one goes to the mall. I don't. Ho hopefully it's not a dead mall. <sighs> Look at what is behind us right there. Can you, can you read it? Can you read it? Are those zombies back there trying to get in? Are they smoking? I don't know. We're in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. At the Monroeville Mall, Dawn of the Dead, the original one was shot here. This is the entrance that, that was mainly used. Oh my God. Is that a zombie? There's another one Look, walking Technically in. Technically it's a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's go in and check it out. I know there's a mural and I know there's a, a Romero bust in there. So let's go in and check, let's it, out. check it out. So here's the entrance, one of the famous entrances from the movie for all the zombies and stuff. Or Are over here. They're here and bumping into the door and stuff. Pretty cool. Looks pretty much identical. We're walking around the mall now. It's so eerie, man. It looks identical to the movie like this is amazing <laughs> there are definitely different stores well, there's different but... stores for sure because this is from a long time ago oh but, my god here's a dead store but uh it's, this is pretty cool walking around we're trying to find the bust now of uh george romero we found the bust it's right there it's pretty awesome it looks just like him there's a cool little plaque there but yeah 
It has these really cool zombie hands. Zombie hands, hands on yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, but George Romero is, is the father of the zombie movie and the father of the zombie. Without him, we wouldn't have Walking Dead, which I love. You know that if you watch the channel. You know <laughs> I love Walking Dead. And this is almost like coming to like Mecca for me to see to see that and be at this mall and how, and how much it looks the same. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, zombies are super cool. And hello, malls, zombies, everyone's shopping. It just, it just relates. And he, was, he, he made that statement too. I think he said that like... He picked them all for that reason. It's like shoppers were like zombies. You know, it's a brainless buying, you know. It's just buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy, buy. It's, 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 it's pretty uncanny. You know, he, he revo revolutionalized, revolutionalized. Is that a word? No. <laughs> revolutionized. Yeah. He revolutionized, you know, horror genre. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and then numerous other films, zombie films. It's, 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 it's awesome. Zombies. Zombies. They have this awesome mural here in the mall, kind of commemorating everything Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. But look at this. We have Batman. I don't know why. <laughs> but zombie. Zombie. Pretty cool. So if you want to visit the Monroeville Mall and see this mural and see the bust of George Romero, come in near the J.C. Penney, next to the Party City and you'll pass the mural, and then the bus is just down the escalators, and you'll see it. They have everything kind of all sectioned off in the one corner. They make it easy to view. All right, guys. What better way to end this video than back at the cemetery where <laughs> it all started? <laughs> we saw our first zombie at the Evans City Cemetery. <laughs> Love it, man. There's, so there's a cemetery. Check that off the list. There's the Night of the Living Dead Museum and gift shop. Check that one off the list. Monroeville Mall. That's a big check off the list. I was really excited that we got to see that. Yeah, the mall's super cool. Definitely <laughs> check all these locations out if you're in the Pennsylvania area. If you are liking our videos, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Threadless t-shirt shop if you want to help fund the finds. And until the next zombie location in a creepy cemetery video where we're using chocolate syrup for blood <laughs> well, well bye they're coming to get you barbara stop it you're ignorant they're coming for you barbara stop it you're acting like a child they're coming for you look there comes one of them now what do you do? Stay around. You better run. They're coming for you. He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny. It's too cold to it's, be shooting movies. I know. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so tall? I'm standing on the curb. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's rolling and you're not in it. Okay. Too far. Come, I said right here. Where do you want me to step? And go. Faster. Stop.